All right, good afternoon. Today we will be dissecting a clam. And I've got two special help helpers here. You want to introduce yourselves again? Jack. And? Charlie. And Charlie, and they're here to help me look at this clam. You'll notice on your clams that they come with little cigars. This is actually just a little piece of dowel rod that they put in there to make sure the lid doesn't snap shut because these guys bury themselves in the beach, in the, in the soil, and then they filter water in and out of their bodies. So they, are really, they, they have really powerful muscles that clamp their shell closed. And so we put it, these in here so it doesn't snap shut all the way. Those muscles are called adductor muscles, and those muscles are found here and here. And so to open the clam, we have to slice open the, those adductor muscles here and then here. But before we do that, let's learn about external morphology. This part right here is the oldest part of the shell. It's called an umbo. Charlie, can you say umbo? Umbo. Very good. So this is the oldest part of the shell. And the shell is made by uh, the little tissue in here called the mantle. So the mantle secretes the shell. Um, and here we have a hinge ligament. The hinge ligament works antagonistically with the adductor muscles to open the shell. So the adductor muscles close the shell, the hinge ligament snaps open um, and opens the shell. Daddy, I want to do that. You want to touch it? Oh, yeah, I have to get both on again. Um, we can touch it in a minute. Can you tell me what this is? The um, umbo. Umbo, good. And what is the umbo? It's the oldest part of the shell. Oldest part of the shell. And what about this right here? It's a hinge ligament, like on a door that opens and closes things. Oh, oh. Yeah. Do you remember what muscles open and close the shell? The, no. the adductor. Can you say adductor? Adductor. Adductor muscles, and they're found here and here. So what we're going to do now is slice through those adductor muscles, just like this, and just like this. On the other side. Um, Charlie, please keep your hands away, bub. Yeah, and then we're going to slowly open. And what we have is an ooey gooey, weird looking creature in here. Right? So we have the nice shell. And remember, the shell has three layers. The, the nacreous layer right here is kind of the shiny, shimmery layer. And then it has a Stripe layer. Prismatic layer, and which the and this, the stripe layer, layer right here it. is made and up of a protein called I periostracum. You can eat. You can you can eat clams. Yeah, a lot of people eat these. Do you want to eat this for lunch, Charlie? No. Why not? Okay, so we can split the sh take the shell off, split I'm, it in half. Um, no, what is that? You're so tall, Charlie. So right here we have the hinge ligament right here. And remember, this clo no, this will open no, the shell when the adductor muscles relax. No, no, no. Hey, 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 Jack. These right here, these are the adductor muscles, and you can see on the other side we can see the scars where they attach to the shell. Yeah. So these are what contract. They're very very large muscles. I guess this is the oldest one. Mhm. Mm I guess this. Do you remember is the what this what this part of the shell is called? umbo, <laughs> oldest part of the shell. So what we have here is a thin membrane tissue called the mantle, and the mantle secretes the shell. What does the mantle do? It secretes the shell. Mm -hmm. It makes the shell. And so um, remember these are organisms that are bilateral and they live kind of like this. So we have uh, the visceral mass, and then we're going to have gills, and then we're going to have mantle, and then we're going to have shell. So we're going to kind of go in this way. We're removing the shell, and then we'll remove the mantle, and then the gills, and then we'll look in the visceral mass. When are you going to use that? The pokey. I'm using the pokey to point things out. So we're going to remove the shell and expose the mantle, which secretes the shell. And then we're going to... We can have a stack when we're done with this. We can see the mouth of the clam right in here. The, what did I have for breakfast? What did you have for breakfast? I would say like 
um, nine pieces of pepperoni, two halves of toast. English you think that's that's what the clam had for breakfast? No. And <laughs> Do you think clams like pepperoni? No, and a cheese stick. And a cheese stick. Okay, so the, the water is going to flow in. If we close the shell again, you can actually see a little, little gap here that the water is going to flow in. And then it's going to circulate in there, and then it's going to flow out. So water flows in and then out. And as it flows in, the gills in here this layer right here are going to collect food and exchange gases and release reproductive material all in here for the uh, to flow through. So this is the, the mantle and we're going to re remove that part here and set it aside. You should be able to recognize things in the clam or just laying there not doing anything. So the next layer in, we have the shell, and then the mantle, and then the next layer in are the gills. And we can see that there's two layers yeah. of gills. Yeah. There's two gills right here, and they're different than the mantle in that they're striated. Yeah. You can see they have lots of little stripes, so they're maximizing surface area for oxygen to diffuse in and carbon dioxide to diffuse out, and for them to catch little particulate organic matter in the water. So let's go ahead and slice the gills out. We'll put them here. No. No. Here, be able to differentiate the mantle from the gills. So the mantle secretes a shell. The gills. What do gills do? The gills. Um, the gills aid in, uh, Char Charlie, can you, <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, so the, the, <laughs> the gills uh, facilitate gas exchange and they, they, filter, they filter the water for um, nutrients. All right, so we got the shell, the mantle, the gills. And so here we see a big bulge right here this is the visceral mass. This is where all their organs are. This is where all their, their guts are. And then here we have this kind of fin-shaped structure here. This is their foot. Does that look like a foot, Charlie? No, it kind of does like a Christmas foot. Like a Christmas foot? Christmas shoe. Oh, like, like an, elf, an elf would wear with really long, thin. All right, so we have the, the visceral mass in here. And then the foot right here, the foot is what they're going to extend out to anchor themselves into the soil. And so this is a highly muscular, extensible, retractable um, foot for anchoring. So again, mantle secretes the shell. Shell protects the organism. Gills filter water for nutrients and gases. Visceral mass contains the organs. Foot anchors the or um, anchors the clam to the soil. And then we have adductor muscles here and here. Um, also, this is the anterior adductor, posterior adductor. The anterior adductor is the one that's closest to the umbo. So this is the anterior side of the clam. This is posterior. This is dorsal. This is ventral. I want to point out where the heart is. So the, the heart system, they have a an open circulatory system, but they do have a heart, and the heart is going to pump blood out here. It's kind of going to bathe everything in blood, and then it's going to receive the blood this way. So you have a little circulatory system that goes like this. The heart is contained inside a pericardial membrane. So the pericardial membrane, pericardium protects the heart and cushions it, and it's this membrane right in here. So if we get in here, we're going to see a little pocket and in that little pocket that little space is the heart and it doesn't really look like much but this little fleshy thing right here is the heart Let's see if I can bring that closer so again visceral mass foot this is the pericardium and then this little structure right in here is the heart and you can see you have a posterior aorta 
that transports the blood to the body, and an anterior aorta here that transports the blood to the body. The heart is actually composed of, an, of a ventricle and an, and an auricle. The auricle receives the blood and the ventricle pumps the blood. You can't really easily differentiate it on the real clam. Just know that the auricle is going to receive the blood, ventricle pumps the blood. Auricle receives the blood, ventricle pumps the blood. And so you have a circulatory system like this. It's an open circulatory system, but you still have the ventricle, the little heart structure right in here inside the pericardial membrane. So the last things we really need to look at are inside the digestive, inside the visceral mass, and so we see the digestive system. What we're going to do, um, and we should also notice that if I point to things here in the tissue, we should be able to still see the adductor muscle, the gills, the visceral mass, the foot, the mantle, etc. So let's look inside the visceral mass. To do that, we're going to cut, slice kind of across the face of it. Another clam, we've got the shell, we've got the adductor muscle, we got the, the foot here, and we have the visceral mass. The gills and the mantle have been removed, but we can still see the pericardial cavity here, and we still see the heart inside that. The heart being this little tissue, this little guy right there. So inside here, if we slice across the face of the digestive system, what we get is this kind of green tissue and this kind of brown tissue. Both of these tissue, tissues are kind of granular. They kind of have little, little yeah, grains yeah, in them. Like, the uh, green uh, tissue is the digestive yeah, gland and that secretes digestive um, enzymes. The brown tissue are gonads and those are gonna make eggs and sperm um, or gametocytes. The stomach is usually difficult to find. It often um, contracts like a balloon. It just kind of gets obscured. The intestines are woven throughout the gonadal tissue here, and so if you look closely, you can kind of see little tiny, almost translucent threads. Those are the intestines, but I can't really point to an intestine and have you look at that. So no green is digestive system, and really sometimes the green doesn't show up well, so you should just know anterior. So again, orient yourself. This is the umbo, so this is the anterior side of the clam. This is posterior. So the anterior side, which has tissue like this, usually a darker color, this is digestive gland, and it secretes digestive enzymes. The other tissue here, this brown granular tissue, is um, gonads. So that's what we have. We have adductors, close the shell, hinge ligament opens the shell, foot anchors the clam, shell protects the clam, uh, digestive gland secretes digestive enzymes, gonads, uh, produce uh, gametes. We have on the other side we have a visceral mass which houses the um, the internal organs. We have a striated gill which filters water for gases and food. And we have a mantle which secretes the shell. And then we have a heart inside this pericardium and the heart sends blood. The ventricle pumps blood, auricle receives the blood. And that is the clam.